Imagine this is here by accident. Ugh. Making a point with you, uh, huh?
Okay, there. Easy now. for me or was this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. At least 
No one's found it nice so far. Maybe you'll be the first. <laughs> Do you like pain? Is it your friend? It's about to become your very close friend. Very close. But when it's over, release. Glorious release. Now, there's no point fighting. You might as well try and relax a little bit. But it won't be nice for you. Which film? Put him down. Put him down. Fella been... Been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke-down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund, Edmund Lowry Jr., and you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. You all right? 
quit crying and talk to me, goddammit. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Creepy bastards! Run off on me? Hey, you! Go away! Hey, mister. I thought I told you to go away. You did. Well, you haven't. Why would I listen to you? You're a hermit. I am not a hermit. I'm the king. The king! You are lost! Get less lost, but get lost! Get out of here! Go on, go away! Whoa! Put that down! What exactly is your problem? Glad you came to your senses. Go away! 
I'm the bloody king. You can't kill me. <laughs> and anyway, I'm fine now. That's enough from you. Because we are here yeah. today for a very special You're gonna watch? Occasion. Keep it quiet. Yeah. The Supreme is talking. It is yeah. imperative that we reestablish sanity yeah. and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning. Shh. Thanks to the fools in Congress Boo. and their ludicrous ideas. Boo. But today, we grow one yeah. strong. Yeah. Yeah. As we Daddy. anoint a new brother uh -huh. into our uh -huh. sacred cause, please yeah. step yeah. forward and kneel. Right. Hey. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Woo. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. There we go. The eternal right. light shines. Yeah. 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 Seems like maybe that's a sign, eh? A test. That's all. A test of devotion to our great cause. You're just a bunch of morons in ridiculous outfits, which makes you the prize moron. You dirty son of a bitch! Uh, I'll show you! Uh, a Damn hooded rodents. I'll kill all you bastards. Some respect. Just leave me be. Well, shit. Guess they got what was coming. Corruption personified. I will cut you down.
Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. Wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Please, you gotta get me out of here. I'm telling you the truth. He's got me chained up. Do something, please. He's sick in the head. Why, hello. Don't think I've seen you before. Whoa, now. That's I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right! I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you could always come back after he wakes up. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see I only do it for his own good. Please, please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. No, the chains. Shoot the chains. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil. Shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs>
we go. I haven't got any friends because I'm too big. Is that so? Yes. Yes, it is so. That's sort of why I said it. That and because I was lonely and wanted to talk. Maybe we could be friends. I've always wanted a real friend. Someone to discuss the human condition with, you know? Uh, I don't know much about that. Neither do I. Be well, friend. Be well. Nice to see you again. And you. How have you been? Okay, I suppose. That's good. I've been lonely. Very lonely. I'm faced with a stark and unpleasant choice. Be lonely or get murdered. Not very exciting as it goes. Huh. Uh, I suppose pick lonely. Did you miss me? Uh, I suppose so. Yes, I missed you too. I've been quite lonely out here. One day, I long to have a wife. But women can be so cruel. Nobody wants large children. They eat too much. It's very sad. Hello, little fellow. Hi. What's your name? John. John Marston, usually. Who are you? Well, I'm not telling you that. I like to be anonymous. I like to blend in. That's a job. I'm well known for my humor, you see. Anyway. Be well. Hello there, friend. How are you? Don't be afraid. People think I'm a monster, but I'm not. It's John, isn't it? Yeah. Are you well? Yes. How are you? Happy and lonely, like everyone. Sure. Is it as bad as they say out there? As... who says? As the animals. Yeah. I thought so. Anyway... Be well. What are you doing? You have nothing to hide. Oh, no. Are you all right? Careful, little feller. Hey, watch out down there. Don't make me squash you. 
Go now. I don't want to hurt you. Don't make me shoot you. Please. I don't want to kill you. Go and die, tiny man. You're the monster, not me. I'll find someone else to deal with you. Yes, hello, hello, hello again. No, don't. Don't kill me, please. Here, this is all I have. Look, just take it and go. friend want to take the weight off fire is good and hot okay there me casa su casa friend thanks so you got a girl mister yeah not anymore me neither got my eye on one though i was hunting north of vannisburg when i came across this cabin and there's no one there but this woman. A bit bony, but beautiful as the day is long. Real elegant fancy type, too. I see how you like them, too, friend. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way. M made me feel good. I watched her from the bushes for a while, saw her cry. Well, now. I think this is a place I could really hang my saddle. A hot dinner and warm bed every night. Mmm, don't sound bad to me at all. All right, I need to cool down a bit.
so soon. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. It's just a little portrait somebody gave me once. I always quite liked it. Why? No reason. Just seemed familiar. Anyway. This is a no admittance Careful, area. Big man. You have to go back. Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl, until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Must be real lonely out here, friend. Hey, partner. So, you hungry, huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come along. What you thinking, partner? Now come here. Don't you hate old Sonny now? Don't hate him. What? Oh, you struggled. And you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you.
What you doing, friend? Wandering? Me too! <laughs> Me too! What are you wandering for? Uh, no idea. Man, me too. Me too. Oh, man, I'll, I'll see you around. Enjoy the sun. It's the one true god, you know. Helios. Nothing else matters. All else is lies. Go, my friend. Find your own path to light and peace. Every day. Guess he ain't such a big tough cowboy after all. Ah, oh, poor baby. Did mama never hold you? Reckon she might have held him too much. We can't keep this to ourselves. It would be wrong. Hell no. The town has a right to know. Big Hank likes a spank. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go. I can't take any more of this. Ugh. I've been a bad boy again, Mama. A bad, bad boy. Yes, you have. Oh, well, don't go easy on them. I need to be taught a lesson. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Close the drapes. If you tell a soul, I swear I'll kill you.
Easy. Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, mister. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while, and we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Hey, there he is. Come on in. Come on. This is, uh, very kind of you. Don't sweat it, partner. The pleasure's all ours. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. Careful, miss. <gasps> hey, hey. Slow it down there. Plenty of time for that. And there was me thinking you was the bashful type. An old family photo. It got damaged, unfortunately. She'll, uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait, this is just about perfect. 
God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> The food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop it, you! How do you like it? Mm, it's good. Different. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm that meat is so tender. Mm, you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was... when we was kids. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. We still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. There, there, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. 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 Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. That stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on, honey. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what the hell is that? It's an old Aberdeen home recipe. That one right there is in 1894. Feels like someone stabbing me in the head. Come on, I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> One more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. <laughs> ah, what the hell? Ah! Time and take whatever cash she has on her and put it behind mama.
Hold up. Hey there, mister. Howdy. You should not be stopping here. Go on now. Hello. Why are you hanging around me like a bad stink? You got a real talent, friend. Keep it up. You better shut up with that. Hey, don't come picking a fight with me. Why are we doing this? Off racket you're making. I'm fixing to knock y'all sideways. Least it. Spirit's gonna eat your soul. Jesus.
Seeking your future, listen closely. While we are forgotten shortly after death, your honor will not be. <gasps> Behold, and hear your fortune from the magnificent Madame Irene. When the time comes, look back, not forward, or sideways or askew. I hope that this is clear. I have been waiting for you. Listen, as Madame Irene is an endless fountain of wisdom, as long as you have the silver, true wisdom is knowing nothing. Ignore the future and the light in the past, and there you will be blissful and wise in yourself. Time must pass for wisdom to be conveyed, and you seek it too much too often, like all men. Visit again. This is my life's work. It is incredible. What? Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye.
Where's your creation now? I may not speak the whole truth, but I speak some of it. Do you want to hear your fortune, sir? Uh, why not? This is now the time of machines. The time of things. The time of man came and went as all things pass. As all things pass, my friend. Okay. Travel safe.
Wanna buy a paper? Slow now. What's that?
man. And I, Charles Kinnear, will now demonstrate here the miracle of flight. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. <laughs> oh dear.
brain. Ghosts! Ghost! I saw a ghost! A young woman! You've lost your mind. You poor bastard. You all right, Reverend? I know what I saw. A girl. A ghost of a girl in white. He seeing things again? Apparently. The old fool. Oh, it gets worse by the day. She never did. You okay, boy? I thought you was already gone. Tell her. I never stop.
Why don't you turn around and go back to the light? Can you leave my cave, please? Go and find your own cave. There are nasty things and nasty people down here, and I don't mean you. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. I'm the devil! Okay, I'm not the devil, but I want to be. I want to be. And that's even worse. I'm a nasty man. Go away. I don't want you here. Is that so bad? Wanting solitude? Wanting loneliness? Wanting anything but you? Go away. Hey there, partner. Get out of my cave.
Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Who show's on right now? The Ghostly Serenade. Most excellent. I need a ticket, please. Greetings and salutations, gentlefolk. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky like. A girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south nor east from west neither. Then they heard a low moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all a trim. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to ball like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around a tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's Prize Jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair, stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The carcophony grew closer and closer. And through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Beauchard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hands. His eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forests. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, 
she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the farm. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one daughter came forth and accused her of witchcraft. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods in case the English lurk there still. This would be the second or third time tonight that this has happened. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the donkey woman. Danny, if you would please zoom in on her face a little. Now, the donkey woman likes to take us places. As you can see, she's very fast on her feet. <laughs> <laughs>
Easy now. Easy, easy. Come on, folks, get your meat here.
So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. Your blood. Your blood. You are the seventh. Bring me now, or I will bleed you slowly. Oh, you will truly suffer now. So, you make you a got? grave mistake. <laughs> Unbind me, and I will spare you the worst. You think you can restrain me? Don't move a goddamn muscle. What's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing of me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. What? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic.
Well, don't stand on ceremony. Hello there, and welcome. Mr. Sinclair? Huh? Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry for intruding. Uh, Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I'm looking for your husband. My husband? Yeah. He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. Your husband, Francis, is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband, Tom, is dead. Uh, I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? Uh, uh, that's not important. Excuse me. Man, hey, nice dogs, big dogs. Listen, friend, I'm sorry about your companions.
Fancy meeting you up here. You all right? Looks peaceful. Remember to concentrate. Don't fall off. <laughs> ah! <gasps>